you get mentioned in my name. We don't like what you say. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can suck my dick. So now that we've started to see conditional logic and how modularization can help from where and when a plan gets optimized, I'm going to start to show you what I think is going to become one of your new best friends in testing, and that is execute with recompile. There are some negatives, though, with modularization, so I'm going to pull all this together in my demo. But what happens when you execute with recompile is that you will get a plan only for that execution, a plan only for you and only with the parameters that you're specifically supplying. Now, it's been documented for a long time that this could be very useful because it does not affect the plan in cache and it doesn't put this plan in cache for subsequent executions. So it's even been documented to be useful for atypical execution scenarios. And I've always kind of laughed at that because I can't imagine a user sitting there going, well, I think this is atypical, so I'm going to execute with recompile. So I, I just don't see users ever using execute with recompile. Now, I could see a developer using it for some procedures, and I will show you a case where you might want to do that. But it does turn out that when you execute with recompile, remember, it doesn't put a plan in cache at all because it behaves a lot like create with recompile. So I still have, I think, better troubleshooting ways to deal with recompilations that are better than using execute with recompile but it is still something you can consider especially if it's for very very infrequent very very atypical execution scenarios so i will show you what i mean and and for me this is absolutely fantastic for testing in fact this is mostly what i think you're going to spend some time as a developer using on a lot of your sub procedures and what you're going to be doing is not just testing them for their logic and for quality control but also for their plan patterns what i'm actually going to look at is i'm going to go through a variety of different test cases and I'm going to verify the plans, more specifically, the optimal plans that are generated for that variety of test cases. And this is going to tell me if the optimal plan is stable. If I'm getting the same plan over and over and over again, then I know that that stored procedure is good. So I could execute get member info with trip, recompile, get member info T percent, recompile get member info percent t percent recompile and if i recompile on all of those cases the question i'm going to be asking is do the plans match and if the plans all match then yes i can go ahead and create that procedure normally or no there is some type of instability so i need to determine what i should recompile but again i need to pull a few things together so i want to go back to our sub procedures and kind of explain a few things with execute with recompile and then i'll show you how it can really work well